Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jeff and today we are going to have some fun playing Magic. And the fun thing that we're trying to do today is we're playing a deck I'm calling Electro Cyclops Thud, which is a, probably a terrible name, but uh, it says exactly what we're trying to do here. So we have Erratic Cyclops, 4 covered mana cost. I'm not sure if a lot of you guys have seen this one because it's a janky one that a lot of people wanted to build around, but it just never quite worked out. So whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, Erratic Cyclops gets pl uh, plus X plus zero until end of turn where X is the spell's converted mana cost. Cost. So what we're trying to do with this deck is we're trying to link that with Electro Dominance. Electro Dominance, um, if we get a lot of mana out, it's amazing. So we can pay X and two red. Electro Dominance deals X damage to any target. You may cast a card with converted mana cost X or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. So this is an instant speed card. You can pay play anything down at instant speed, even our Adalys, even anything else. You know, like we can do a lot of things really, really quickly instant speed, which is awesome. The best thing to do with this though is if we can get out some extra value of damage with like a, a wizard's lightning or a run amok or something like that with electro dominant. So even for two mana, what this does is that it's a four cover mana cost spell at that time. So we have four mana, we have enough to play erratic cyclops. The next turn, we electro dominance, we run amok or sure strike for two mana. We get to add up to, I think it's nine damage that this guy does. Um, and then hopefully we have one more mana at the end to uh, play our one thud here as well. So I, I do have a thud in the title of this, but it only, we're only running one because I don't think it's the best strategy. I think it's better just to be doing other stuff. And the other stuff that we're trying to do here is with Beam Splitter Mage. So Beam Splitter Mage is a Vidalcan wizard. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell that targets only Beam Splitter Mage, if you control one or more other creatures, that spell could target. Choose one of those creatures, copy that spell, the copy targets the chosen creature. So if we use a run amok, which when we're attacking in with Wizards Light or with our, our Beam Splitter Mage and anything else, all of a sudden we can add six power to the battlefield for two mana as long as we target a Beam Splitter first. And this actually happens as long as it gets the ability to even target it. It'll trigger that ability and then we get to put it onto something else. Uh, if we have Adalys out at the same time, all of our wizards also start growing. So this is a little bit funky because I'm, I'm including Runaway Steamkin because we want to make sure that we're getting enough value uh, in the mana as well as it adds so much damage with Electro Dominance. If we do get to spend that three mana for Electro Dominance, um, that from the counters here, we can just grow our erratic cyclops really big. Anyway, there's a lot of fun stuff that we can do with this deck. The biggest issue with this one is we don't have a ton of card draw. Um, I didn't really want to bring in too much of that because I was trying to do so many things here. So that is one of the biggest issues. We definitely should have some sort of card draw. In fact, maybe we bring in fire uh, mines. You know, let's let's go ahead and do that one too because it's been a while since I've uh, seen that fire mind research. You know what? We got a fancy one. Got to bring in the fancy one. And we'll go down the one sh shock that I brought in here. I wanted to have a shock as... Uh a good play there but yeah so that that's the deck i think we're gonna we're gonna run it like that that's a little bit more card draw nothing amazing but uh we're gonna see how this goes all right up against the noodly azathoth the noodly azathoth <laughs> great name uh this looks good this looks really good okay we're gonna keep this we have like every combo piece we could ever want with this deck uh so we're gonna get down mountain first past the turn Alright, maximize altitude, which isn't terrible. Beam Splitter Mage, pass the turn. This is the gate deck. Ooh, this could be bad. Um, we might need to find something to... What? Cast downs in the gate deck? Who is this person? All right, Fireman's Research. I'm actually really glad we brought this in now. So Fireman's Research, uh, whenever you cast an instant resources spell, put a charge counter from on Fireman's Research. If you can remove two and pay two, uh, two mana, then you can draw a card, which is probably what we're gonna use it for the most. But if we have five counters onto it, uh, then we can do five damage to any target, So, which is great. Um, man, they're gonna have a Gates of Blaze, but we need to try to get as much value out of, we, we need to try to get as much damage in as possible. So we're hoping they don't have the Gates of Blaze yet. And then we're assuming they're not going to run it right into an Adalez right away. So we're looking for land. Um, we're also just going to look to do as much damage as possible here. So next, swing in. They might have a seal away. I'm not sure what this deck is running. Mortify. Um, let's go ahead and Wizard's Lightning while we have the cheaper mana. Uh, going to be able to get some counters on to Fireman's Research. I like Wizard's Lightning um, when we have stuff, but uh, this is fine. So now we will just pass the turn. 
Have we played a land already this turn? Yes, we did. Okay, pass the turn. Kaya, what is this deck? Oh my goodness. That's actually very good with a Gates deck. I can get rid of anything. That's cool. Alright, opt. Uh, another Adalus, alright. That'll start taking care of Kaya. If we draw a land here, it actually could be pretty good for us. Oh man, land would be so good. Alright, uh, I'd like to go at face, but we're gonna have to get rid of this Kaya a little bit here. You must feel pretty smart. Um, I don't know, maybe we don't? Founts of Renewal. They tick up. Alright, so this next turn, we actually, what we're gonna do here is, oh man. Alright, we came to play Erratic Cyclops, we're gonna play Erratic Cyclops. We're going to swing here. Pass the turn. All right, so this next turn, we get to play quite a bit of stuff. If they don't kill our guys, we get to go crazy. Um, so we're just hoping they don't kill our guys. They could have another cast down. They take up. Doesn't do much here. Possibly a seal away. All right, so island is good as well. So first off, maximize altitude. Erratic Cyclops. Get some counters. Get some triggers. All right, next. Go to combat. All attack here. Two attackers. Wizard's Lightning face. That's three converted mana costs. We get to grow Cyclops quite a bit, and we do three damage. Sinister Sabotage is it. All right, well, we will sure strike now. Actually, let's run amok while we can. I, I like run amok when we actually can be attacking in. Uh, the counters that are coming onto this are actually very relevant here as well. So we're doing 11 damage is what it looks like here. We actually get these uh, triggers happening. So down to three. We would have had lethal. Oh, actually, should I have played that? I was debating on whether or not I wanted to, but we have five damage on the next turn if they can't find Fireman's Research. An answer there. So they have to gain life. So they're going to have to kill something. All right, they got rid of our Maximize Altitude. Guild Summit. All right, so we're going to hold off to attack in just in case they have like a Revitalize as a response here. Uh, so swing in. Sure Strike. Onto the Cyclops. Should have put it here, actually. Okay, what's your response? You've got to have some sort of response. This uh, means Revitalize doesn't do anything now. Next. Let the damage through. Alright, so they didn't have anything. Uh, so we had five damage that we could have done there as well. So that was a great, great game. Uh, Poto was doing some fun stuff. They seemed to uh, kind of run short on mana. Um, but whew, that was fun. All right, up against, it's Luckus. And we're playing our uh, Electro Cyclops Thud deck. Uh, and we're going to keep this. And do we want to have Shock up? Uh, we'll just pass the turn. We, we want to get value out of uh, getting these down as well. So third man mana is what we're looking for. All right, there we go. Beam Slitter Mage, pass the turn. All right, let this work, please. Don't kill him right away. That's just a rude thing to do. You know you don't want to do it. All right, Adela's go. We have the hand. If we find the land on this next turn, you quench it. Ah, okay, swing in for two. That's fine. Down to 18 past the turn. 
Alrighty. Alright, so all attack. Um, do we want to hold on to these or do we want to get some damage in? How much damage do we get through here with this? Like seven? Alright, so not this turn. If we find land, we can do even more. Alright, opponent ops, resolve. I just want to see if... I would rather do this in response to something else they do. Like if they try to lightning strike this or something like that. Okay, shiv and fire, so now we do it. So now we electro dominance X2. Run amok. Doesn't die. We get in five more points of damage. Down to 11 past the turn. That would have just been game with uh, Adela's out there. All right, swing in. Uh, we're hoping that they actually do spend something here so they don't have counters for the Radic Cyclops. Down to nine Cyclops. Do they have the counter? Uh, with what they're playing, it's going to be hard to get rid of this without that. All right, so that's fine. I think what we're looking for here is land. Land, I think, actually might give us lethal. Alright, there we go. Land. Um, a counter is really frustrating here, but we're going to go for it. Swing it in. All attack. So... Yeah, I mean, we, we go for 5 mana to get 5 damage in. So X3, if we get the shock off, we have lethal. So this has to resolve. And it resolves, we shock. Get pumped again. Two more damage. Do they have a bounce or something? Fiery cannonade, not enough. They're probably just showing us their hand. Expansion explosion. And bam, there we go. They could have copied our Electro Dominance. Uh, I don't know why they didn't do that. They would have been able to actually get something else there as well. Um, I'm not sure if it keeps the X, uh, how much X was worth there, but still. That'd be awesome. All right, up against Typho. Bring it on, Typho. <laughs> and if how I say people's names annoys you, uh, I actually don't let me know. But uh, I'm sorry, nonetheless. Uh, this is a fantastic hand. This is beautiful. If we find land, we can do a ton of damage right away. Uh, although we, we don't necessarily want to get rid of too much stuff right away. Lava Runner, pass the turn. Plays is land. All right, Sulphur Falls, Beam Slitter Mage. Yes, I should be attacking in first. Down to 19, pass the turn. Next turn, don't cast down. Demir Spybuck, that's fine. That is totally fine. All right, so pay the two life. Shock. Next, all attack. Sure strike on beam splitter mage. We get to grow Lava Runner because he gets bigger anyway. Down to nine. <laughs> oh my goodness. So now we have... Uh, seven damage just in hand here they have to basically kill our board in the next couple turns or have a big enough blockers thought erasure um takes the wizard's lightning okay but we get in four points of damage here we know for sure that we get those in now and if we find anything better we can do a lot of fun stuff all right so runaway steamkin all attack pass the turn uh so we are risking a, um a uh board wipe here I can't remember what the name of it is alright hostage taker to grab what beam splitter mage I mean that's the the smartest thing to do is definitely beam splitter mage lava runner okay 
Um, if we swing all in, we don't actually win. But if we find a shock, then we do. Or a lightning strike, or wizard's lightning, or anything. So, yeah, we, we definitely go all in there. They can play something as a blocker for this next turn. But if we find a run amok, we win. If we find, you know, like anything, we can win. All right, we get have to get rid of the erratic cyclops. They get a draw. They can play a blocker. They play a blocker. What do we draw? Run amok. Land. Now we draw the land. All right, no attacks past the turn. All right, Demir Spybug. Surveil guy. They haven't actually surveilled yet, though. So no value this turn. All right, swings in, no blocks. That's fine. Down to 16, pass the turn. Maximize velocity. Oh, man. We can kill something this way. We're going to pass the turn. Um, you know what? Actually, they're going to be able to discard this, huh? We should have just played it and swung. All right, so they don't, they don't get to discard it, it looks like. They get to surveil, get a lot bigger. We're gonna take a big hit, uh, and we're just we're just hoping a good top deck. This is where again, um, card draw would be nice to get here, but at the same time, this is pretty aggressive. I mean, even if we do find anything else, they're like if we find any removal, they're dead. So no blocks. Down to nine, electro dominance. There we go. All right, so yep. I mean, any counter kind of stops us in our tracks. Anyway, we could keep up the maximized velocity, but it really doesn't matter at this point. So we got him. All right, why not? All righty. That's kind of interesting that it, it stops it uh, until I play the other card. Uh, that's pretty funny. Anyway, um. That worked out very well. All right, so there you guys have it with Electro Cyclops. Uh, and super fun deck. I, I did end up drawing into a thud on the next game. I didn't end up showing that one because uh, I, it just didn't work out at all. I ended up having to discard the thud like as soon as I got it. And so I just kind of a boring game, I felt like. Uh, but overall, this deck is super fun. Beam Splitter Mage is all, honestly just an amazing card altogether. And there's some super, super fun things you can do with this, with this uh, deck if you get it working it's uh always the same type of issue you have with the prowess style decks though especially this one because it has to actually target him you have a lot less chance for card draw so you're oftentimes top decking towards the end of the game um if you're doing just the just the um uh, more prowess style thing with Adela's, then you can have a little bit more card draw doing everything there. But so it, it's a really hard uh, balance, I feel like, with this one. Um, I think that you, it could benefit from adding a little more card draw. I think uh, maybe three could chart a course, take out maybe a couple other things in here, uh, maybe go down a couple of these because you have more chance to draw into them. Uh, I think that's the right way to do it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much, and bye bye. Thank you.